Tony John here. I decided to go ahead and put these uh, files on my GitHub repo, which is this link right here. And I thought I'd show you guys how to put text in logos and stuff in your schematics. We did put the open source hardware footprint on the PC board, but that came with KiCad. For some reason, I or I haven't found it yet, I haven't found one that I can put on the schematic drawing page here. So here's how I'm doing this. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to use this guy down here, this, this, this bitmap image, all right? First, we need an image to put in here. So I googled for OSHW logo. Funny thing, these might not be free. Uh, somebody might have made these and copyrighted them for all I know. So go to the Oshawa website down here. And they have official ones that you're supposed to be able to use. So here are some. You're supposed to click on them and then download them in your browser or whatever. So I grabbed like a little one here and did a save as and so on. All right. So I saved a couple of them in this directory, the parent directory actually of my project. If I can type. So here's two ping files that I downloaded, 100 pixels and 400 pixels. And I think the 100 pixels will probably fit nicely in here. So I'm going to say the little camera picture, paste. And uh, there it is. I'm already open to the right directory. OK. And voila, I now have a little logo in there. Now, as for the license itself, uh, I created a license file as per the open hardware license recommendations from CERN and did what they said and used their little wording and so on. So I want to put this on my in my schematic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text right here. And then I'm going to say paste. And I'm going to yeah, I'm going to set this to about 0.8 millimeters. I did, I've used this before and this is a good size cuz I know it'll fit in here. If you make it too big, it just will go all over the place. So this is their little license thing, it escape so I updated my schematic now. All I did is add some text to the title block down here to make it officially open source with all the right stuff. That's great. Save it. Um, now let's go ahead and edit the, uh, the PC board rather and clean this up. Let's go to the front silk screen now. Okay. There's not a lot of room left on this silk on the front. I don't know, I could put some stuff over here, but basically, there's my project name. I put a little copyright in the open source hardware, but on the back, oops, back silk screen, we've got plenty of room back here. So why don't we go ahead and put a uh, another open source thing here and put the GitHub link on this page as well. So to do that, you just hit uh, uh, back silks and put some text on here. And I'm going to paste my GitHub repo link in here. So here's the top level project page in my GitHub repo. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste that into this box here. Now, I don't know how big this needs to be, I'll bet that's giant. Yeah, that's really big. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to select it and hit E to edit it. I think, I don't know, is it one millimeter? I don't know. Let's make this one five and find one that'll fit. That's still pretty big. I don't know if that fits. No, that's still kind of gigantic. What do I want? Maybe a 0 0.8. Yeah, that looks nice. Now remember, when we're editing the back of the board, we're looking through it from the front, which is why this is all mirrored. You can get a better look at what it's going to look like by doing Alt-3 and looking at it over here and flip it over and have a look-see. All right, so that looks pretty nice. Now we have our nice GitHub link on there. Of course, we probably want to make sure we have uh, the copyright stuff in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. If I can type, it would help. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so there's... Uh, okay, so now it's not pretty. I want to see the justification here. If I hit left, 
Now, this is a little mental because you need to realize it's left, but you're looking at it in the mirrored image, so it's going to look like it's on the right, but that's really the left from the perspective of the back of the board. So I'm going to find a nice place to put that. Okay. And what else do I want to do? I want to put another one of those OSHW. Uh, oops. Uh, how do I do this? List all. Put one of those footprints on there. Okay. OSHW. On the silk screen. I don't know which one. We could put a big one, I guess. Put that one. We put a littler one on the other side. Oh, yeah, that's a nice big one. Okay. Ta-da! Oops, where did it go? I'm on the back silks. Huh. What happened there? Let's turn off the uh, fills. Oh, it went on the front of the board. Not the back. All right. Well, we can fix that by saying E... And then in here, we, it says, where do you want to put it? It will be, where is it? Uh, value, reference, rotation, pads, footprint. Somewhere in here, it'll say, where do you want it to go? Oh, it's on the front. To put it on the back, you hit F to flip it. That's how you get it on the back. Keep forgetting. Okay, turn the polygons back on and it's upside down now we rotate it around and now we've got the thing on the right place M to move it all right front silks this one says open source hardware this one says open hardware I want them to match okay so I'm going to go ahead and delete this maybe we picked a, a different footprint there uh, OSHW, list all of them. We'll do this again. OSHW. Uh, logo, logo, symbol. So I guess there's a difference between logo and symbol, because I remember we grabbed the other one down here. Let's go ahead and grab Mr. Symbol at 13 millimeter. Oh, that's gigantic. We don't want that one. That's way too big. So maybe at 10 millimeters is what we want. Um... Symbol logo. Oh, which one has the... I don't know what we're looking Logo 2. Oh, I see. There's a logo 2. A logo. Jeez. Let's make it easy for everybody. Well, there we go. Now that one's gigantic. So, all right, fine. We're getting, we're getting warmer. <laughs> all right, so 11 millimeters is too big. And let's go with 7.5. Ta-da! Finally in at long line. Ah, uh, now it's probably on the front again. <laughs> front silk, select it, hit F to flip it to the back. Go on to the back, hit R to rotate it, and now it's in the right way. I'm going to save this before anything else goes wrong. Alt 3. This was supposed to be a one-minute video, by the way. <laughs> Isn't that typical of every project? Getting massively out of hand. Open source hardware, blah, blah, blah. Go to GitHub and get all your boards and stuff from here. Okay, now we're pretty much set up and ready to go. Get that out of there. I think this might look better if it's up a little bit higher. All right, save that. One last look. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You know what? While we're here, let's put on the front silks the version number this is going to be version one of this project now I'm, this, this is going to get messed up at this point i need to do this on purpose so this is version one look what happens this thing moved to the left why because it's actually centering this just like on the back i messed with that thing by setting it to left if you'd left justify it well before i do that let's watch what happens if i hit m see how it grabbed it and i'm in the middle Watch what happens now if I change it, oops, edit, and I change it to left. First of all, it jumps all over the place, but now, more interestingly, when I move it, I'm grabbing it on the left. Now, there's two things that happens once you go to left justified. 
The first one is when you grab it, you're grabbing it from the left all the time. The second thing is when you edit it, the left stays still and it'll grow back and forth out to the right. The other, uh, there's another thing here. If I make both of these left, or for that matter, I can do it all in one like I did on the back. But let's go ahead and do this. If I make them both left and I hit move, I can actually line them up correctly. Sometimes, because this is a variably width font, right, the I doesn't take as much room as, say, the capital W here, um, it may not line up right, and it might look weird. So as it is right now, I've got these things left aligned. So that's one of the handy little things you might want to take advantage of when you're playing around with text and you're trying to make something look right on a PC board. So that looks a little bit better there, I think. Save it. One last admiration of our work. Okay, now we have version one, blah, 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 blah. Yay, that's all back there. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to push this version up as version one in my GitHub repo. If you thought this was exciting and fun, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye.